What's going on guys, it's your boy T-Med and I'm back with another YouTube video. This time I'm unboxing the new Godox V1. And if you've seen any of my other videos, normally I use a young newer flash, but I had to break down and get the Godox V1 for several reasons and I'll kind of go through those as I'm unboxing. So already did some initial cutting because we already know it could be hard to get in these boxes sometimes so you have two options when you order you can just get the godox v1 or you can get the godox v1 with a kit and the kit is the akr1 so inside this kit we have a dome diffuser we have a diffuser plate. Let's see. Okay, okay, I'm liking this. So this is nice. Look at this packaging. Nice packaging. You know, this is something you can definitely just throw in your bag and take with you. And it keeps everything kind of compartmentalized. Okay. So we got we got a lot of things here. I'm gonna put these right there for a second. And if you see that icon in your bottom right corner, go ahead and hit that icon so you can subscribe and like this if it helps you in any way, shape, or form. But here we have the dome diffuser. This is good because um, you kind of see these on other speed lights. Um, I think Mad Mod has some modification or modifier where you can put the dome on top of the speed light to basically diffuse the light and spread the light evenly. Okay, we have that. We have barn, barn yard doors. Okay, this you can directionalize light, which is really nice. The, the other nice thing that I'm seeing right here is that they're stackable. So it has magnetic attachments. This this is nice because you, you don't have to worry about it falling off. So we have the barnyard doors, and then we have another diffuser plate. And you typically see these on top of regular speed lights with um, the having the, the bounce bounce plate on there. And speaking of that bounce card, here we have a bounce card. So you have one of those incorporated in your AK R1 kit as well. Let's see, I'll put this down to the side. Okay, so we have our diffuser, we have our barnyard, we have our bounce card, and we have another diffuser plate. So now we just have another magnetic ring. And this magnetic ring is to hold the different color uh, filters. So you have like a cool filter. We'll get into that in a minute. Okay. And we have a specialized holder just for the bounce card. So you would take that and insert that here. And then one of my favorite modifiers is the grid. So that you could use this so that you, um, if you have spill of light going everywhere, you put on a grid and it can maintain light in a certain direction. And we also have a snoot. So, so this AKR1 kit, a lot of modifiers. Um, if you have some modifiers already, you know, is it worth getting? Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't say so. Um, but the alternative to this is that you know these modifiers allow you to create a lot of different unique photos so 
<clears throat> when you think about it in that term, if you shoot weddings or if you shoot engagement photos, having these type of light modifiers can really step up your game in terms of photo presentation. So lastly, we have a whole lot of color gels. And they kind of span a different spectrum. So, you know, if you're looking a little cool, you can throw on this diffuser and it can warm up the room a little bit or this color gel. Um, then they have some uh, ones that are a little more warmer. So depending on your situation, you know, you kind of look at your photo and, and kind of distinguish what you may need at that point in time. And the unique thing about this is that, you know, if you need to color correct for the room, you could throw on a gel. And then if you have spillage in the room, you can throw on a grid on top of that gel since they're all magnetic and snap stack on top of each other. Then there you go. You can just stack them on top of each other and have a variation of different uh, modifiers on top of each other so that's pretty pretty cool so i think i don't have any of these modifiers which i just recently bought a uh godox 8200 and that was kind of uh the reason why i went ahead and bought this ak r1 with the godox v1 because I already have the Godox 8200. And when you're thinking about buying lights, you know, if you're shooting weddings or anything like that, you know, you need a system of lights because, you know, you can't have one light and have a whole wedding venue. And, you know, so uh, having a system of lights really speeds up your workflow. So let's see this. This is like packed in the tight. So I gotta do a little, little work to get it out. And the other thing. me with the speed light was that I started looking at how many batteries I was using. I mean, it seemed like every time I turned that speed light on, I needed new batteries. So if you know, you know, speed lights, they kind of like four batteries. With my young newer, it was four batteries and you know, you can't use a cheap battery. So, you know, you're spending $10 on average every time. So when you talk about having a $70 flash and then spending $10 every once in a while, especially depending on how much you shoot, you know, you might as well go for Godox V1 that has a rechargeable lithium battery and has an internal receiver so that I can trigger this flash with my own board camera trigger. So let's get into the flash. Okay, we have we have some manuals, but you know who who who, who really reads that? If you if you read the manual, give me a a, a thumbs up because that 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 will be you know most people just go right right into it. <laughs> we have a stand clip so if you want to mount it on top of a stand and take some off camera shots that's nice to have right there okay we have a lithium battery this battery is actually bigger than I expected it to be if you can see that I mean it's like half my hand, you know? Like, I wasn't expecting the battery to be this big, but, you know, given the output power, I could see why. 
it would be that big. Okay. Now we have a docking station for the battery. And let's see. This looks like a new USB-C charger. So I'm pretty sure you can charge it in your car, which is always good. You know, sometimes I'm like run into events and like wanna double check that everything's charged up. So I just have things on the charger and here we go. The USB cable to charge the battery. That's always nice. Okay. We have a wall charger piece. And this looks like some free swag. Okay. It's like a camera. I don't think I would use it, but hey, you know. At least I got at least I got something for free. <laughs> so that's everything inside of it. Now, let's get to the actual flash. Now it has a nice holder. I don't know how much I use my holders though after I uh, actually open a product. Like, you know, just, just this one time. And then every time after that, it's in like my bag. Okay, I'm loving the feel of it. A nice solid build. This one, is for my Nikon. I shoot Nikon. So this is a V1N. And if you have Canon, it would be C. If you have Sony, it would be S. And the build is pretty nice. I like the round head because of the light, um, the light spreading versus, you know, the typical rectangle head. This one gives you a uh, more even light. Um, can't wait to get out to it. Get out and shoot with it. Let's see. Pretty sure I have some charge, so uh, let's test it out and see what I actually have. Um, okay. Pretty solid and okay. Because if you notice, is actually a hole straight through. So this battery is basically the ends to both sides. I don't know if you can see that. So let's put that back through. And let's see, let's see if we have any juice. We do, okay. We have a nice on and off button. I really like the build of this, especially compared to, you know, my young Newell. You know, I might just give that out. <laughs> you know, I might do a giveaway for that. So let's see if we can do a test flash. That's pretty good. I like that. And let's see, I, I'm, I know I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit. But one of the good things, oh, there you go. Okay, I got it, got it. Okay, this is one of the good things I like. It has a mono light. So, and it has several different settings, power levels. So it's just three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. So it goes all the way up to ten. Now, I like this feature by itself alone, just because it has the uh, ability to be effective when you're like in a studio shooting and. You just need a little bit of light to help out your camera and help it focus. So having that mono light right there will, will really, really help with the focusing on my Nikon. So if you like this, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe because 
that helps and uh, lets me know that you know what I'm actually doing is actually helping somebody. Um, and you know, this this definitely has flexibility. I like this a lot. You can, you can see kind of full 360 turn, but make sure you like, subscribe, and you know, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My Instagram will be somewhere in the corner popping up all the time, so make sure you follow me and make sure you give me a thumbs up. This your boy T-Med, we out, Go Dons V1, peace.